Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Watcher Realms video. So today I'm back with an explanation video. So lots of people has been asking on the Discord channels uh, how does the last banner work, you know, what's a guaranteed banner and uh, I'm gonna display the last banner that was guaranteed which features Gwendolyn, which we have at the moment uh, on screen. So a guaranteed banner basically means that uh, the hero that is designated to be guaranteed and normally limited edition as well can be summoned within 250 summons and I'm going to clarify this from the get-go from the start you need to summon 250 heroes on this banner so if you're summoning this week on the 2x banner that's not going to count for next week's banner if you summon last week same thing it's not going to count for next or next two weeks uh, when the last banner comes up so yeah that means that uh, you have to have 250 summons ready for you to be guaranteed to get last uh, in the next two weeks when her banner comes live unless you get really lucky uh, you know you're not gonna actually get her unless you have 250 summons but with that being said uh, if you guys understand the PT rule uh, the hard PT rule you will know that in Watcher of Realms, the hard PT for rare summoning crystals, which is what the last banner will be using, is 220. So that means that uh, within that 250 summons you do on the last banner, you will get a legendary for sure, uh, and that might or might not be last, because uh, there's a 10x chance where you can get her when you pull a legendary, but it does not mean that you can get her. And the rumors that are out there is that, you know, uh, Arrogance is going to accompany her on this banner. So that means that uh, you might get a chance to get Arrogance, which would be the nice thing to happen. And then pull last with the guaranteed uh, 30 summons later. So yeah, that's like the nutshell of, you know, uh, what things will be like for this guaranteed banner. And I think the next thing that comes to mind is a lot of people asking, oh, if I have PD, uh, I have summoned this much, I'm 100 in the PD, I'm 120 in the PD, uh, how, how is that going to work for us? So that's another thing that I'm going to address as well today. So I'm going to pop in some charts here. Uh, I'm going to overlay them in the video later. But basically, if you're going to this 100 summons uh, in the PD, uh, within 120 summons on the last banner, you're going to get a legendary because that's how hard PD works. So if you do that, you pull on the last banner, you activate your PD here, there's a 10x chance that you might get uh, Arrogance or Last, if let's say both of them are on the same banner. Okay, uh, But that doesn't guarantee you a Last. So uh, the, nice, the best case scenario for you is that you don't pull Last, you pull Arrogance instead or you pull something else. So that that way you maximize the guaranteed banner because uh, no matter what, even though you reset your PD at 120 summons into the 250 banner, you're still gonna get a legendary hero last when you summon 130 more on the same banner. So that's the best case scenario if you're asking me. But if you do pop your last way earlier than that when you hit your PD, that's completely alright too. Nothing wrong with that. But the ideal scenario, if you have enough resources, is that you actually, uh, you know, manage to hit uh, PD. You don't get her, you get Arrogance instead, that's the best. And then you pull another 130 summons in, and then you get your guaranteed last after that. So yeah, that's if you have like 100 in the PD. Of course, adjust the numbers. If let's say you're 150 in the PD, then 70 more pulls, you're guaranteed to get something here. And then if you pull 180 more into this banner, uh, you're gonna get uh you're gonna get a guaranteed last instead. So yeah, that's the same that's the same concept. It's just uh, depending on where you are, you might have to shift the goalpost a bit uh, to say where you will get your guaranteed uh hard PD legendary. And from then, uh, how many more summons more will you need to actually get to the last banner? So very straightforward video, just want to clear the air on that. Uh, I'm also going to show uh, in a second here how you can abuse this banner. So what I did was that uh, I actually know that my hard PD was at 200. Uh, I'm, I'm zero into hard PD, 
basically before this week I put a one plus one before this Gwendolyn banner week so 200 summons in which is here what I did was that I switched to the other banner to try my luck to get Boris or Satrum and lo and behold uh, that's not what I got you can see over here that uh, I got broke here instead and that's completely fine so uh, in that sense you know uh, I hit a legendary uh, 200 into like you know my uh, Gwendolyn banner summons I switch over so I summon like five or six more I got a legendary I switch back to the last banner 50 more pulls and we get Gwendolyn which you will see right about now so we also got Vienna that's a bonus and you know that's nice and all but yeah that's uh, basically how this entire guaranteed banner works I hope it clears the air I hope people are more you know uh, People actually understand the banner well, so they know what to expect next next week or the next two weeks when the last banner comes live. So if you still have any questions, uh, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Obviously, I'm more than happy to answer. But if not, uh, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And I hope you, have, you guys have the best of luck in your summons if you're pulling on the 2x and if you're pulling on the ancient banner tomorrow. So that's going to be it for the video guys, see you in the next one, goodbye.